Eleanor and I were commissioned as Salvation Army officers in 1981, so it's been um, nearly 41 years that we've been officers. I've served as an officer in Lethbridge, Alberta, in Montreal, in Paris, in Toronto. Um, I served at international headquarters, although I did that from Toronto, not from London, England. And I've worked on significant projects with the Salvation Army in Australia and in South Africa and Kenya. A variety of things in the finance department, as a territorial leader, as corps officers, as youth secretaries. Uh, it's been a fascinating ride. Intellectually, the best time I ever had was as head of the finance department. I really enjoyed the people I worked with. I enjoyed the intellectual challenge of using my business skills to advance the mission of the Salvation Army. Emotionally, the best time was at the Corps Officer in Lethbridge when we shared the lives of the people in the Corps. And then when Eleanor was a Corps Officer at Montreal Citadel, even though I was not on staff at the Corps and had no formal role, that was a wonderful journey. Uh, and I guess I was so close to it that uh, I, tr I treasure that time in our lives. Eleanor and I, in our early 30s, reached a stage where there was some discontent in our lives. and We weren't quite sure what it was. And one day one of my friends said, Glenn, you will never be happy until you're a Salvation Army officer. And you probably will never do it because you're going, your business career is going so well that it will cost you too much to become an officer. And I talked to Eleanor that night and we decided that if we had a clear answer from the Bible, we would go to become Salvation Army officers. The next morning, I did my devotions and I just happened to read 1 Corinthians chapter 9, which says, woe to me if I don't preach the gospel, because if I preach the gospel, I don't deserve any pay. I'm just discharging a trust. Then I turned to another reading that I was going to, had to do, and it was Matthew 6, 24, where Jesus says, no one can serve two masters because you will love one and hate the other, you cannot serve God and money. And I remember turning to Eleanor and saying, we've got our answer, we're going. Frederick Beekner is an American Christian author. And he once said that God's will is the place where our deepest gladness and the world's greatest needs intersect. And I think it's that sense of commitment that is what I would encourage people to find. It may be as an officer, it may not, but go where your greatest joys and gladness and the world's greatest needs come together and follow it, whatever it costs. <laughs>